when it seems we've heard the worst, meet John Simpson. Simpson doesn't go parading around in uniform with a chest full of medals, nor does he collect money for Marines in a bucket at stoplights. So what did Simpson do? Well, actually a wonderful thing. He took Marines and their families to Disney World. Skip Wells was three when his mother first took him to Disney World. He loved the hotel room. He just thought that was a blast. Every summer, the vacation destination remained the same. Was there ever a year where he said, Mom, I'm just too old for this? Nope. Yeah. Nope. That was like your thing. That was our thing, and he looked forward to it. This is what Disney sent us. During one visit after joining the Marines, Skip was chosen service member of the day. A magical day in the Magic Kingdom. Yes. That was 2015. Yeah. Kathy and her son have never been back. And I heard about 10 or 15 pop. It was 11.01, Thursday, July 16th, just one week after that trip, that Skip sent this text message. He says, active shooter. And I'm like, where? He says, here. Here was the U.S. Naval Reserve in Chattanooga. He went back towards the garage area and yelled active shooter in an effort to get everyone over the fence into safety. But Skip, now known as one of the fallen five, would not make it out alive. And I'm proud to be an American. Looking for a way to honor her son and put the donations made in his name to good use, she reached out to the founder of a charity that seemed to embody the things her son loved most, Marines and Mickey. Skip would want to send as many of his friends and many of his brothers and their kids to the very place that he loved. Why do people steal someone's valor? Well, the simple answer is low self-esteem. They want a new identity, one that intimates sacrifice and heroism. It all boils down to testosterone. So the most real veterans get to exercise if some guy in a bar is trying to score some free drinks or get laid. It depends. Uh, some may ask them questions like, what's your MOS, which they can't answer. But this case of stolen valor is a new low. He got my trust that Marines don't lie, right? That's part of the code. Integrity, honor, commitment. Just look at that tattoo on Simpson's arm. He told donors he was a retired Marine Master Sergeant. A Paris Island drill instructor, a former recon guy. Jason Weeks, who served himself in the Marines, had his doubts. His resume was pretty stout, but he wouldn't look me in the eye. It was a tip from a friend that happened to live in Simpson's hometown in Anderson County, South Carolina, that led them to confront Simpson about his background. They invited him to the Semper Fi Bar and Grill. He denied every bit of it. Still convinced, Kathy drove to South Carolina looking for proof. She found it buried in an old newspaper article. Simpson went AWOL three years into his tour. He was found driving on a suspended license, trying to get away with a phony fundraiser for a fire station. He was AWOL at the time, and he's going door to door asking people for money for something that didn't exist. Kathy took her findings to the FBI and 11 Alive. That's when we found a trail of criminal and civil cases, fraudulent checks and business promises never fulfilled. He blew me off. We also found Maria Maldonado. She says Simpson raised money in her son's name after he died of brain cancer, but kept most of it. John Simpson was the Marine that went there to put his dress blues on him so that he was ready for his funeral. Mind you, Kathy Wells attended a fundraiser for Penelope Buttress, a terminally ill daughter of another Marine. That family denies ever seeing a dime. They're Marine recruits that told investigators Simpson made illegal withdrawals from their bank accounts. And Jack Hughes, a Vietnam vet assaulted at an airport, says he was just one more face used on a GoFundMe page to deceive donors. There's a lot of veterans out there that need what he said he had to offer, but he didn't, he didn't come through with any of it. But Simpson, now behind bars in federal custody, still maintains his innocence. In many of the more egregious stolen valor cases, the fakes will con some financial gains from corporations or donations on GoFundMe pages. But what made this creep, this guy, so evil was the people that he was scamming had lost loved ones and they were particularly vulnerable. 
Maldonado, Hughes. I mean, these people were before you. Yes. And yet it wasn't until you that he was stopped. Right. What do you think was the difference? Kathy says Skip's story generated enough money and media interest to thrust Simpson's actions into the public eye. I felt like this is what Skip wanted. From heartache to humiliation, Kathy says she pushed on in honor of her son. He has been gone three years now. He played Little League. But his clothes still hang in the closet, his shoes still line the bed. And on her arm is good old Mickey with a note. This is his handwriting. It says, I love you, Mommy. Love, Skip. The stolen valor thing is getting worse. For every one Navy SEAL, there are 300 imposters. Although there were only about 2.7 million who served in Vietnam, some 9 million claimed to have been in that war in the 1995 census. I don't have an answer, wish I did, but I served over 55 years ago and the Marines I served with would have done something, probably something bad. The John Legato Show is being broadcast from outside the gates of Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune in beautiful North Carolina. If you like what you saw today, hit subscribe and like. Semper Fidelis.